This is a hammer. This is called a cross peen hammer. This is the face, this is the head, and this is called the peen. Since the peen goes across the handle, that's why it's called a cross peen hammer. If it went straight up and down, it would be a straight peen hammer. And if it was a ball, it would be a ball peen hammer. Now this hammer only weighs three pounds. Uh, blacksmiths choose the hammer that they're using at the time based on what they're making, how hard they're gonna have to hit, and the um, size of the object they're working on. For a large piece of steel, I'd switch up to a four pound or maybe even a five pound hammer. If I was doing a smaller, more delicate piece, I'd drop down to a one pound hammer. Now, our pieces of metal are placed into the fire. And so since we can't touch them when they're hot, we use tongs. Now this is called a pair of square bit tongs. You notice there's a diamond shaped hole. That diamond shaped hole on the end accepts a square piece of metal and holds it securely. Also, we can hold it sideways. So whatever we need to do, we, can, we have a pair of tongs to shape the piece of metal we're working on. Now this is a very specific pair, as is this next pair that I'm gonna bring out. This is called a pair of scrolling tongs. They're rounded on the jaw, that's this part here, and that allows me to make curves and bends really easily. And then lastly, we have a pair of straight, or what some people call flat jaw tongs, and they're just general purpose tongs. You can use them to pick up a piece of metal, you can hold it pretty securely, up and down, but not sideways. Just generally using it for pickup, whatever you need to do. There's all kinds of tongs, and if the blacksmith needs a specific pair, he'll either modify a pair he already owns, or he'll just make them a new pair for that specific job. Now the metal that we're using here is all mild steel. This is a low carbon content, really uh, inexpensive and affordable. Most welding shops around the country sell this. This is just quarter inch square bar cold roll steel. Now this were high carbon steel, that's what you would use to make knives, axes, things that take a sharp edge. This is just general purpose steel. 